Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stephanie's Lyrelin. I'm Stephanie. This video is going to be another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday and it's like two or three o'clock, I think. I just did my nails. There's little butterflies on the thumbs. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you? First off, I want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm very excited. Um, Yeah, thanks for like listening to me talk shite because that's practically all I do. If you haven't watched my last video, it was a reorganizing my bookshelves. So this is my new background now. Um, So go watch that if you haven't already seen it and watch me struggle to build an Ikea shelf because it was a struggle. So I started Punk 57 last night by Penelope Douglas and I'm on chapter nine, which is, whoa, which is page 163. I, don't know how I feel about it yet, obviously. I am quite a bit into it, like I'm 160 pages into it, so that's enough to have an opinion, I think. I don't know if it's just because it's Penelope Douglas and I've read a few of her books before and didn't really like them. And I don't know if it's just that I'm not really into like strictly romance anymore. I do like fantasy romance, but I don't know, maybe it's just me and my reading taste has changed, but I find the main characters, like both Ryan and Misha, both really annoying. Like Misha's okay, but Ryan is just actually pain in the arse. Like she's a brat. I can't get my head around her. I really don't like her. And Misha, he's more tolerable. I do, I don't find him as annoying, but like some shit he's saying or thinking I'm just like Jesus okay like calm down and also I know Penelope Douglas's books are quite problematic in a lot of ways but and I knew that going into the book but I didn't think Punk 57 was one of the problematic ones and I don't know I just still don't understand why authors feel the need to use slurs in books and it just really makes me annoyed and feel icky so I think it might be just me and that I'm like gone off romance books for the minute because I find them quite kind of cringe <laughs> I don't know anyways that's enough of that book I'm still reading Crescent City by Sarah J Maas I haven't picked this up in a few days but I'm mid chapter I'm on page 514 so I don't have much left to go like I'm enjoying it I really want to finish it and I really like Bryce and Hunt both individually and together um the world is really interesting and like the investigation is kind of interesting there was a bit of a plot twist which I thought was good and because I'm at the very like close to the end of the book I'm hoping it really picks up and like I think this is where my writing will move up from a three star to maybe a four because with most Sarah J Maas books I find that the last chunk of the book is what I love the most. That's where all the like plot twists happen and stuff. Like I could sit down and finish it today to be honest if I just left Punk 57 and I might try to do that but I'm not sure. So yeah the only thing about this book is like I've said before it is quite slow for me I think. It has started to pick up since the maybe 400 page mark, but I'm still finding it quite slow. And also I'm finding it hard to wrap my head around the kind of urban fantasy aspect of it. So like people with wings, like the half the time I'm reading this and I forget, forget our main character Hunt has wings. So there's that, but that's just kind of a me problem and not the book's problem. I don't think. This intro has been way too long. I'm going to go and read it.
was time lapsing me reading there. I can't even speak. I was time lapsing me reading there because I'm almost finished. I don't have the tiniest bit left. And so I don't know if it like caught my reactions properly, but <laughs> what is going on? Bryce is a queen. I tell you that. My heart shattered. Anyway, I have 80 pages left. Most of this book I'm gonna give it three stars but I think now I'm gonna bump it up to a four because that ending was really really good I won't lie I really do think the ending and all the different plot twists and just everything that was happening was just top tier amazing yeah if it didn't have an ending like that honestly I would not rate it I'd probably rate it even a two star because up until maybe I think the like 500 page mark I was really bored in my opinion it did not need to be this long at all like I get that there was a lot of world building and everything but like it did not need to be that long whatsoever but I'm glad I read it I do want to pick up the next one I think because you know most of the time series get better as they go along it's just excessively long for no reason but I did love the characters the ending of it had me in tears like it was really good and I think there was a lot of beautiful and important moments and things discussed in it so that is another thing I loved. I feel like a lot of things were handled really well as well and discussed in a good way if that makes sense. I have finished my first book of the week. I'm gonna stop talking about it now because I've been talking about it for way too long and there is no need. I'm still reading Punk 57. I haven't picked that up again but I don't know how I'm feeling about it, to be honest. I don't really want to read it. Like, I'm kind of not enjoying it at all. But, like, I don't want to DNF another book. But it is, like, 400 pages long. And I just, oh, the effort of that. When I have books on my shelves that I really want to be reading and other books that I could be reading, you know? I just don't like wasting time on books that I don't enjoy. Anyways, I'm going to close this out now because I've been talking for way too long. But I shall talk to you in the morning. morning. It's Tuesday now. Last night, like you saw, I finished Crescent City. And I also, I finished it pretty late, but I wanted to pick my next book to read. And I did a poll on my Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, go follow it. It's at Stephanie's underscore Laurelin. The same is here. I'm gonna grab my books actually. One was Ninth House by Lee Bardugo and the other one is Hanny and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating by Adaba Yagardar. I'm gonna just go double check which one actually won but I'm pretty sure Ninth House was winning last night. That might be my next read. I also have to go to the library today and bring back all of these books and get new ones hopefully so. I'm back from town now. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background my dad is doing work outside but I went to the library like I said I was gonna do and I also went to the shop and got a few books before I went to the library so I went a bit ham and I have lots of books to show you right now so I originally went to the shop and I wanted to get um clockwork angel or clockwork prince the first book in the Cassandra Clare the Inferno Devices series. I wanted to get the first book of that because like I said before, I think I need to try that one first because I'm not really interested in the Mortal Instrument series, to be honest at all. That's what I was looking for. Couldn't find that, which was really annoying. But I did find one book that I was looking for. And then the other two I saw and I was kind of like, I might as well get them. So the one I did actually want to get was the fifth book in the Shatter Me series, which is Defy Me by Tahira Mafi. If you've watched my other videos, um, I recently have been reading the Shatter Me series and I'm now on the fifth book. I'm really excited to start reading this. 
again can't really say much without spoilers then i saw this and i've want i've had my eye on it for a while but i wanted to get different type of covers but sure i just saw them today and i was like i may as well get them so it's cinder by marissa meyer it's the first book in the lunar chronicles which is a series that's pretty popular on booktube and i haven't gotten around to read it yet so i'm really excited to read it can we just all the covers are so gorgeous this is about a it's like a cyborg but i think it's kind of a twist on cinderella hence the name so i got that and then the last book i got i saw it and i wasn't really going to get it but then i looked at the price and i was like that's really cheap so i got it it's the bellas by donnell clayton i think and it was literally only three euros so i had to get it and i think it could be a female female romance so that's the only reason i had it actually on my list excited to read this too and then we have the books i got from the library i went a bit crazy i got six which i usually wouldn't do usually i get four. First, i saw this one and honestly i was just like wow the edges so i really like them and i like the cover um, I think it's a first book in a fantasy series. I honestly don't know what it's about. Uh, it says a princess, a soldier, a hunter, a traitor and a thief. I think it has something to do with like found family and a bunch of misfits trying to work together in some sort of political problem thing. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it's about so I'm not even going to try talk about it. I saw The Silent Patient by Alex M Michaelides. Michaelides, which is the author of the new book The Maidens that I want to read. I've heard it's really really good. I'm not a big thriller fan but I think I might like it so. Then I saw this book and I thought I recognized the title of it. Um, I feel like I've heard it around. Um, it's the first book in a series and it's also been blurbed by Sarah J Maas. She said one of the best fantasy novels I've read in a long time. It's called The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. Um, and like I said, the first book in a, in a fantasy series where a young woman's sense of identity will make or break an empire. I saw this and it's so funny I saw it because it's the exact copy I was going to buy a few weeks ago. And I've been eyeing it for ages and I really wanted to read it, but it was kind of expensive. So this is Girl A by Abigail Dean. I'm pretty sure this is kind of a thriller as well. It's about some girl who grew up in a house of horrors and she had very abusive parents and her and her six, six siblings were abused and she ends up surviving and escaping the house, I think. But then a couple of years later, her mother dies in prison and leaves her and her six siblings the house in their name and basically the main character is trying to change the house into something more positive um and basically you follow her and her other siblings figuring out more about each other and each other's traumas and trying to work through their traumas essentially again i don't really know anything about these books i just see them and i hear them hear about them on booktube and i kind of put them in my tbr pile so there's that then i saw this and it kind of just sounds interesting so i picked it up it's called it happens all the time by amy hatwany and it's about i think relationships and um also what happens when your when your friendship and your relationships kind of combine and get messy all that kind of stuff but it also says uh, with heart humanity and emotional insight amy hatfany brings the wounds of sexual assault out of the shadows and into the light so i think it's also about sexual assault so then the last book i got which i was absolutely screaming to find i could not believe i saw this here because i was literally this close to buying it today when i was getting the other books because i saw it in paperback and it's recently been sold now in paperback and obviously that's much cheaper than a hardback so i was going to get it and i was so close to getting it and thank god i didn't because they had it in the library in the hardback so that is the ballad of songbirds and snakes by suzanne collins it's the prequel novel to the hunger games and it follows um president snow i think in his life and how he came to be as the president of oh my god why can't i think of the name oh my god what is the name panama i think it's panama 
Oh my god, I'm such a fake fan. I think it's Panama. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this, honestly, because when it first came out, I was really excited and I was going to buy it myself because I love The Hunger Games. I don't particularly like President Snow character, obviously, because he's a bit of a demon. Um, but, you know, I was excited because, like, it's The Hunger Games and it's more into The Hunger Games world. But then I heard a lot of reviews just saying they hated it and it was really bad but then I heard a few of them that were good so it was kind of a mix of both so I don't really know but I was always really excited about it but I couldn't really justify paying like I think it was like 20 euro for the hardback cover but this is before the paperback it came out for a book that I mightn't like and had a lot of bad reviews so yeah but I'm really excited to have that so yeah there are all the books I got today and I don't know how I'm gonna read all six of the library books in the next three weeks so I might be doing like a 24 hour or 48 hour readathon for those because I need a bit of help <laughs> because of how many books I got in the library I think that means I'm gonna have to put a hold on start in ninth house for a while that's everything I got I need to kind of get ready to go now because I have to go to training but I shall talk to you when I'm back home update of the day but it's Wednesday now time is like almost seven o'clock but I just wanted to talk a bit about the books I'm reading so earlier you might have seen I literally tried to rearrange my room and I rearranged it and then I hated it so I moved it back so it's practically it's literally the exact same yeah so I did that and then I also I just spent a few hours um watching some booktube so I was watching Jamie's library and books with Chloe because I'm living for their vlogs because they're living together now oh literally serotonin boost love it um yeah so that's what I've been doing I've also been reading the ballad of songbirds and snakes I took the dust jacket off and wow hello excuse me look at this i've read a good bit of it so i'm on page 114 which is chapter eight i don't know how i feel about this i'm intrigued to keep reading it because i'm really interested in how the games were before the games where the other books take place because as well in this like obviously there's a lot of eggs for the original books and we get to know characters or relatives of characters in the original series which I find really interesting and then obviously we're following President Snow I don't think I've even explained what this is about actually I have not but basically we follow it's the 10th Hunger Games I think we're on and um President Snow is 18 in this book I'm not even gonna try say his first name because I cannot do that shit it's so hard to pronounce for no reason at all um so president snow is 18 in this and he is a mentor for district 12's 
girl tribute who is Lucy Gray Bard and so far we've just kind of met they've just met each other and stuff and I really like they're like dynamic I'm really interested to see how far it goes and how it's going to work with Lucy Gray being in the games yeah it's it's interesting because I feel really conflicted because I pity Snow for like his backstory isn't what you would expect and I pity him for that but then you kind of read the way he thinks and I understand it but I don't agree with it I'm like pitying him like I said but I'm also like trying not to because I need to remember you know he's an he's evil like I don't like him he's not a good person <laughs> but this is kind of making me be like mm, but like every villain has their origin story you know so yeah I'm a bit conflicted on that front but also just reading about how the games came to be and like the decisions they're making now which will impact the games in the future it's just really boiling my blood like and just the way some of the characters are going like I, I need to understand like and I do understand that these people are supposed to be spoilt and oh, I don't have the words but like they're in the capital they're rich they don't need to like even think about the poor people but like, I don't know, it's just really, really, really annoying me. And I think that could just be my mood is impacting it, but I don't, I just can't like listening to these pretentious little shits going on about, oh, let's bet on them, let's do this. And I'm just like, oh my God, shut up. It's really just really annoying me. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put it down for a bit because of that, but I do want to pick up a different book that I got from the library. It's a contemporary and it's shorter because I did, I feel like what I need is like a shorter book that I can kind of fly through a bit quickly and finish for, you know, a sense of accomplishment. And I was going to pick up The Silent Patient, but I decided against it because I don't know, I just don't think a thriller is what I'm looking for right now. Maybe in a couple of days though. What I am going to pick up is It Happens All the Time by Amy Hatzany and this is like i've said earlier in the vlog um it's a contemporary a hard-hitting contemporary i'm pretty sure two best friends was having a one night stand one night stand it also talks about sexual assault i don't know if it's the best decision for me right now but i'm kind of feeling like a contemporary and it is quite short and i'm hoping i can like really fly through it i would love to finish it by tonight but i actually don't know if i that's probably very ambitious but yeah that this is what I'm going to pick up right now and I shall come back and talk to you all about my thoughts on it. Okay so I don't know if I said this earlier but I've been finding it hard to get like into books um like the first few 50 to 100 pages I've been struggling to get through and I've been kind of like motivating myself by being like oh once I get to 100 pages I can start talking about the book and then like it'll get better after that if you get me and it's a bit annoying to be honest because like I haven't read a book where it's like enraptured me in the first few pages first few chapters which is really annoying because like struggling your way through a book especially the start of a book it's just like I just want to dnf it you know but I'm just starting it happens all the time like I've said in the last clip and I'm literally four pages in and the first chapter was straight away into the action like really really good so I'm really happy and I'm hoping I'll fly through this book because that was a really good entrancing chapter it really caught my attention and I want to know more and everything's happening and I'm like what the hell and also another thing I absolutely despise long chapters like why what possesses authors to make chapters long like isn't it really just annoys me like short chapters make me feel accomplished and like I'm reading my book quicker so this has short chapters thank god and it jumps point of views which I love so I'm really hoping I'll finish this pretty quickly so yeah that's all I want
So I got this two books from the semi transfer series that I didn't own because I own the first one, but not the second two um, by Jenny Han. And then I Hi everyone, it's Thursday, um, it's like the middle of the day and I just want to talk and update for the first time today. So I've been reading mostly um, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and I'm now on part two which is called The Prize and I'm on page 157. I've no new thoughts really to add on to what I said yesterday so I'm not going to talk about this but I am enjoying it and yeah I want to keep reading it really I, I have no like proper thoughts other than what I said yesterday so that's that and I also read a good bit of It Happens All the Time by Amy Hatfany I'm on page 131 but I think I'm gonna just DNF this because it's just a bit too triggering like it's not really it's not the vibe I'm looking for right now um I knew this going into it I knew it was going to be quite hard to read and a, a visceral read but I don't know I keep doing this myself I did it with my dark Vanessa as well and I think I just need to stay away from books that are going to trigger me so I'm gonna dnf this and i need to remember that for future reference that these are just not the types of books that i like to read obviously they're not enjoyable but i don't know how to explain it it's obviously supposed to be a hard read but i just don't think they're the right books for me to read and personally i won't be picking up ones like these again i said earlier it is a really well written book and it's really fast paced and it does flashbacks in time, which I think is really good and really helps to keep the reader intrigued um, and also lessens the weight of everything. But yeah, like I said, I just, not for me. So I also last night picked up <laughs> a fan fiction, an Andrielle one, um, because they're my comfort characters, okay? Um, it's not one of my favourites to be honest, I've just, I prefer like post-canon ones. So I actually got a whole um, really long list of post-canon ones from this one Instagrammer that I follow and um, they always post like the best posts ever and I was so surprised when they actually replied to me. So um, I'll put their at up here. Yeah, so I have a list of those to get through now, which is great. So I'm reading one of those off that list, but I also think because I'm not reading this anymore I want to pick up one of my other library books possibly but I'm not sure yet which I want to pick up I feel like although I am enjoying this it is kind of slow and I need something to keep like my interest so I do have books on my shelves that I could pick up or else I could pick up one of my library books which would be the smart decision because I have so many library books but I don't know I'll make the decision and then come back to you. first update of the day so sorry about that because it's also the last clip of this vlog anyway I feel like this vlog is kind of a mess and I didn't really read much or successfully read anything but from when I last spoke to you which is I don't remember I'm on page 172 in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes same as my last few thoughts want to keep reading it but also I'm not completely invested in the story it's kind of slow 
and then I also picked up um, the Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart and with this I'm 50 pages through it and those 50 pages were really quick to read but again it's like 50 pages in and I'm not really don't really care to pick it up if you get me. I don't know why that is I think I'm just in a bit of a reading slump to be quite honest. Um, also look at the little tabs I put in to like I was like I'm going to read loads today and I'm gonna get to this spot. I didn't. It, it's the thought that counts right. I am gonna keep slowly making progress with the Battle of Songbirds and Snakes because this is still kind of interesting. Um, but I did pick up I was trying to figure out what I wanted to read instead because like I feel like this week I've gone and picked a few things up and then put it down and I'm also kind of in the middle of a few books already um and I couldn't decide whether I wanted like a romance or a fantasy and then I realized I think a fantasy is a bit too much even though now thinking back on it I picked a fantasy but I think it's more of like a fantasy romance than a proper fantasy you know and I was going to pick up Throne of Glass because there, there is a read-along for Throne of Glass happening right now that a few books drivers are doing that I'm friends with that I was going to do but I'm still not sure because I don't want to start it and like then not want to pick it up again and I don't like reading series and then stopping like I'd rather reread the whole thing and I haven't annotated yet so the next time I read it I want to annotate it so I decided not to pick that up today but I might do it maybe next week or the week after I'm not sure soon anyway but the book I did pick up, which I forgot to get, is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series by Tara Murphy. It's Defy Me and I'm really glad I picked this up honestly because it's fun and I'm actually paying attention to it. So I'm already 57 pages through and I only literally just started it. So I'm going to keep going with that. But I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel like it's kind of already been, been a bit boring because I've been kind of chaotic with the way I've been reading and it's also already quite long so i hope you enjoyed this video even though it was all over the place thank you for watching like i said i think at the start of the video thank you for like over 100 subscribers now which is great and also all the love on my annotation video i'm really happy about that so i shall talk to you all in my next video subscribe if you want